Hello guys, it's your boy Max Coca here, back with another video. Today, we're going to be showing the fastest way to get a perfect bow in Minecraft. I'm not going to be actually getting this perfect bow, but I am going to be showing you the technique that you use to get this perfect bow. If you like the video, then be sure to leave a like on it. If you really enjoy my other videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I should be uploading a lot more and soon in the future but now that i'm done with that let's get into the video so i'm here at my little uh base this is a hybrid texture pack and oh my god look at all this this looks so nice i love it and best way to get your um or actually fastest way to get your perfect enchanted bow is by fishing with a perfect fishing rod i don't Quite have a perfect one yet. Need to look at the C3 and Lure 3 and Mending 1. Then I have perfect, but this is as close as I got in the last like 20 minutes of me fishing. And what I did catch was this crazy bow. Now I would need um, Punch 2 and Power 4 in order to make it perfect, but this is not what I can considered perfect i mean there's two ways you could do it you could have infinity on it or you could have mending you can't have both because they say it's way too overpowered i like to have a mending one because arrows are actually not too hard to get once you have a fortune 3 shovel and if you didn't know a fortune 3 shovel you can basically get flint super easily and then if you have a chicken farm that can make life a lot easier as well so that's why I consider the perfect bow, but some, for some people, they prefer infinity. Actually, most people, they're not thinking like me. But here, I'm going to go fishing a little bit, and then I'm going to get back to the video when I catch a bow. I'm going to count the amount of catches I do, just so you guys can kind of get a little insight to how much time it takes with this luck of the C2. The chances are much more slim at this. If it has look at the C3, then it's a little bit higher, but it's like very slightly. It's like 0.5% higher, maybe a percent. I don't know. I have to look up Minecraft Wikipedia on that. But I'm gonna tell. I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll tell you when I get a bow again. Three, eight, eleven XB, eleventh catch, seventeen. On the 21st catch, I got that book. Not bad. 28, 37, and I'm gonna go take a nap. So nice to take a nap after 37 catches. I'm gonna go get back to that. 46 catches and a really bad fishing rod. Oh my god. I looked at the book. I'm okay. This is my 50, 51st catch. And look at this book. Oh my god. I don't even know what to use on it. Like Depth Strider. I mean, you move really fast in water. Aqua Infinity. You um, can mine pretty fast underwater. Sharpness 3. That's really good for Sword Infinity. Uh, I don't care about Infinity. Oh my god. That book. It's absurd. Also, I think I said that wrong. Um, it, it was a 51st catch, not 41st, if I said that wrong. Well, now I'm on the 54th catch. I'm having trouble keeping track of all this. Man, I had a good streak of fast catches. I'm on uh, 64 catches now. 60... Oh, wait, no. 72nd catch, and I got this. Now this should up my chances of catching a really good enchanted bow by a lot. If you kill a skeleton for one, the bow is not as powerful if it's enchanted. But if you fish, you have a really, really small chance of getting a bad bow. Like the worst, like one of the worst you can get is like I'm breaking three it's like the worst one I've ever gotten from fishing but yeah it's way different if you fish for them 
One time I almost caught a perfect one. Like, you can never actually catch a perfect one because you can't get natural power five. It just needed power four attached to it, and then, boom, it had power five. But yeah, now I'm on my uh, 76th catch. So make that 77. On my 81st catch, I got this fishing rod. It's not too bad. It just needs lure three and mending one, and it would be perfect. This one has a lot of enchants on it, a lot of enchanting energy on it, so it's probably not a good idea to enchant this one anymore. 85th catch, and I'm going to go take a nap again. And we're now back to fishing. Uh, so, I'm just going to show you what I do off camera real quick. I'm going to do it for like a, like a minute. So, if you want to skip like 30 seconds of this thing, go ahead. Because I'm just going to show you what I do off camera right now. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. So, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna show you what I do off camera. And I catch the enchanted bow on the, that's not the right one, on the 90th catch. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I'm like, okay, the crappiest bow has unbreaking three and I catch unbreaking three. You have got to be kidding me, man. Okay, I'm not gonna get a perfect bow in this video, but I'm just saying, this is the best way to do it, so... And also, it's kind of fun to see what you get from fishing. Like, it's your luck. It's your chance. Whatever it is. But I'm going to go to 100 catches, and then I'm going to end the video. Um, There's some pillagers that spawned over there. Should I kill them or should I not? Up, oh, they're despawning. Up, oh, they're gone. Never mind. Well, now I'm at uh, 98 catches right there. Um, Two more. No clue what I'm going to get. It's likely just a fish or salmon. Those are the most common catches. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, I'm going to do a trick. No lucking. Bam, that was a fish. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Um, If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my other videos. And I'm going to be uploading way more often. Once I get my computer set up for that. Um, so, I will see you guys in my next Minecraft video, or whatever kind of video it will be. Hello, Enchantment Table. And goodbye to you all.